It's January 2024, and Zoom has finally released the feature that people have been asking for for over three years, which is the ability to put your video beside your slides or shared content. So let me show you how this works. Obviously, you can see I'm already in a Zoom meeting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my video off to the side here, minimize that Zoom window, and what I'm going to open up is the Share Screen dialog box and place it over here. What I'm going to do, let me zoom in for you so you can see this a little bigger. You'll notice on the right hand side now, we have a layout pane. So it's called the layout and options pane and it is controlled whether it appears or not by this button down at the bottom. So when I click on it, you'll notice it goes back to the previous sharing dialog box. I click on it again and it opens it up. So one thing to notice here, it has relocated these two checkboxes, the share sound and the optimize for video clip checkboxes. Now those used to be down at the bottom on the left hand side of the sharing dialog. They've now moved. So if you need to use those and you don't want to use any of these new features, you still have to go to this pane. So just be aware of that. There are four different options here that you can choose from. The first option is the default that we've always used, which is just share the content that you are sharing, whether it's a screen, whether it is a window, whichever you want. So I'm going to actually select this screen here because that's my slides that I want to share. So that's option number one. Option number two is where it places your video without the background. So it removes the background and it places it on top of your content. Now, I'm not a fan of this particular type of uh, layout because you are actually covering up some of your content. But one of the things to note here is that your video is an object. So you click on it and now you can change the size of it. So if I wanted to make myself uh, not quite as wide the video, I could do that. I can also grab it and move it around. So if I wanted to be on the lower right instead of the lower left, I can do that. And you'll notice it's a live preview that you're seeing. Option number three, layout number three, is what some people call sort of the TV reporter mode which is where your video is placed to the lower left of the content. It's kind of above your right shoulder there when you're looking at it. And it takes your background out again. Now here, both your shared content and your video are objects. So I can click on my video. I can make that narrower. I can move that, let's say, up. I can take my content. Maybe I want to make that a little bigger, let's say, move it up if I want. So you have a lot of flexibility when you design how this looks. And so this reporter mode, even though it puts it above your shoulder, you can actually move everything around and resize it. The fourth mode is the side-by-side -side mode. And this is the one that a lot of people have been asking about and uh, have asked me a ton of times about and now Zoom includes it as a default. Now here it's showing your video with your background. So I'm using a virtual background here but each of these are objects. So again I can select my video, I can make it a lot narrower, I can move it all the way over to the left side, I can take my shared content, I can make that bigger however I want to make that and now I can design it exactly the way I want it to be. And with both the reporter mode and this video side-by-side -side mode, you'll notice that it now gives you a wallpaper option. So what this does is it allows you to select a color or pattern to be behind both you and the content. So for example, if I chose this uh, series of a design here, so you see how it puts it in behind everything there? So you have a choice, you can do that or you can use none and it is just black behind you. And once you're done figuring out what you wanted to, to show your audience, you can just go down and say share. And so now it is sharing my screen. Let me make myself bigger there again. So now it's sharing my screen and the audience is seeing my video beside my slides. If you chose one of the options where your video background is dropped out, you will see your video with the background dropped out. Now one thing to note, this is not the view that the recording captures. The recording is still the regular slides with your tiny video in the top right corner. So 
just know that the recording is not going to be this one of these new layouts that you're showing. Now, if you want to see what this looks like for the audience, just go up to the top of your screen and, it's, and leave your cursor over, you are screen sharing, and you see this little arrow to drop down. Let me zoom in so you can see that. So the arrow to drop down, I click on that, and now I see a preview of exactly what the audience is seeing. My screen that's shared and my video. So then you can close that up again. If you want to change layouts while you are sharing, you can do that. Because there is on the ribbon up here, again, I'll zoom in so we can see this easier, there is the new share button. When I click on that, it opens the full sharing dialog again. So for example, if I wanted to use the reporter mode where I don't see my background, and I've moved myself in a slightly different spot, I can select that and say share. And now it is sharing that with my audience. So you can control what that looks like to your audience even while you're sharing. You can change what it looks like. So how could you use this? Well, you could go and share yourself beside your slides and then maybe you really need them to focus on a particular visual, you can go and change the mode so it's only sharing the slides and then the slides go full screen. And then you come back to sharing yourself beside the slides. It gives you a lot of flexibility. And of course, when you're done, you simply stop sharing and it goes back to the normal mode in Zoom. And of course, this works whether you share a full screen or whether you share a window. This has been one of the most requested features in Zoom for years. So update your Zoom app, Windows or Mac, and try this feature out. Let me know in the comments below how you're going to be able to use this feature. This has been Dave of Think Outside the Slide. Thanks for watching.